just kind of have a bunch of stuff to show you. It's just... <laughs> It's just some drugstore, some high-end, some just a mishmash of stuff, CCO, that kind of a thing. Mostly I just wanted to say, hey, it's been a couple days. I wanted to say, hey, I've missed you. Uh, but um, let me go ahead and show you some stuff. And uh, yeah, so if you follow me on Instagram, which is not a bad idea if you like giveaways. I did another giveaway and it was for 10 lip products. Um, I counted and I've done nine giveaways in the past 10 weeks. So like giveaway a week almost or whatever. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with that, but they're fun. I do them at kind of vary the times a little bit to give you know people a better chance of winning and that kind of a thing. And it's a lot of fun. Everybody that has uh, won has been so really grateful, you know, and really happy, and it makes me happy, too. I like giveaways. Uh, let me show you the big thing that came this week. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, because uh, I put a picture up. Uh, Milani has come out with all of these new shadows, uh, the Bella, yeah, Bella Eyes Powder Eyeshadows. Pa Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadows. I get these long names confused. Anyway, they sent me all of the colors, and I'm going to do a separate video about this because I want to talk to you about the different... Uh, uh, finishes and ha you know some of the finishes I like more than others so I want to talk to you about that as well as swatch all of the colors I think there are 30 colors and so yeah these are what they look like if you've seen them I saw them at Walgreens and a lot of people are spotting them at CVS and they're like $3.99 each but I will go over all of the colors with you and talk finishes and everything that would be my pleasure uh, the other thing that they came out with this is really cool and I've started playing with it already on my nails uh, they came out with new nail polishes and uh, there are 30 some of them there's a top coat that I have to tell you I like already it dries really fast um, I have uh, four different colors on my nails right now, but uh, these are the color statement. This is what it looks like if you haven't seen. I haven't seen these in any stores yet, and it's the color statement line. Uh, again, like 37 colors. One of them is a top coat. A whole range of colors, brights, reds, you know, purples, all kinds of great colors. Um, there's some glitter. Look at that glitter. Beautiful. <gasps> Woo. Um, so yeah, I will be talking about those. Oh, to put those down because those are heavy. All right, so this is the stuff I wanted to show you. And um, again, as I said, I'll start with like the drugstore stuff first. First of all, have you tried this? I need to know. I'm thinking about doing a first impressions with this, but it's been kind of a struggle because the first color I got, number 320, was too dark for me. This is the CoverGirl uh, Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I got it in the lower, the next lowest color, 315. And you know, drugstore foundation is really hard to match because you can't like sit there and you know put it on your face. Uh, so this is 31520. Um, I just put it on the side and it looked okay. Uh, let me know if you've tried this. I am so curious. I don't know if it's gonna work for me, but I'm curious. I wanna know. I like to know if you've tried things. Um, you all were so right. A bunch of you told me not to give up hope. Uh, finding hard candy highlighters and I went in there to get this foundation at my Walmart and uh, so we'll switch them and <laughs> I looked at the hard candy section and I go oh my god there it is uh, it's not discontinued I didn't think it was discontinued but I wondered because I hadn't seen I've been looking for Tiki um, at my Walmart and I hadn't seen it and it's been week it's been it's been months I think uh, but it was there uh, so I went ahead and got two colors I got the Tiki um, if you haven't seen this this is just a highlighter that a lot of people recommended I try out it's number 129 Tiki let me show you what it looks like uh, in the camera there really pretty and I'll go ahead and swatch it for you as well I was so excited it was there it was nine dollars at Walmart and that's the only place in my area that I can find uh, hard candy products. So, you know, I was pretty limited and, you know, it wasn't like I could go check out other stores. But that's what the swatch of Tiki looks like. And then I saw, which I hadn't heard of, but I wanted to try, uh, Hula Hula, which is a little bit more gold. And uh, so I picked that up too for $9. And that's what that looks like. A little deeper. And it looks more gold, whereas Tiki looks kind of like a white gold. Um, let me swatch them next to each other because just looking in the packages, uh, this hula hula looks like it's, yeah, it's, it's swatching that way as well as more of a gold gold. That's hula hula on top and tiki. So excited to try those. You guys are right. Now they sent me this. Hard Candy sent, uh, the, the PR sent me this. Um, and I wanted to try that, this out. So I, I definitely, um, I had the package. I opened it, you know, just to save time. It's uh, their Ginormous Lash uh, Volumizing Mascara. I love volumizing mascara. And it is the 
colors black out and it says 200% thicker lashes. Oh, are we gonna see about that? Um, I always save these packages just because before I review, after I've tried something, I like to look at the packaging and say, what did they say about it? Because if they lied, no. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is what the uh, tube looks like and I'll definitely show you the wand. The tube looks really nice. Hard Kitty's got a lot of new products I notice in my uh, Walmart. And it's a plastic wand and that's what it looks like. Interesting, can't wait to try that. I love testing out new mascara. I love it so much. I have another one to show you. Uh, <laughs> I showed this on Instagram as well. I uh, was, you know, I was thinking, you know, okay, they've never made a mascara that I've liked, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. That doesn't mean that they aren't gonna knock this out of the, you know, not knock this out of the ballpark, so let's try it. It's Urban Decay's Perversion. That's their new mascara, and uh, what you get with this, I guess for a limited time, is a uh, limited edition deluxe sample of Subversion, which is a lash primer. So I will show you both of those. It looks like it would be a good mascara, but is it? We will see. All right, so that's the tube for perversion. <laughs> There's the tube, and I'll show you the wand, and then I'll show you the subversion. So the wand, I can't tell much by the wand. Usually that's a good volumizing type wand, but we shall see. We shall see. All right, and then the subversion is a cute little tube, um, and this is a primer. Oh! Jesus, where'd it go? I tell you. All right, so there it is. Subversion that I just flicked all under the lights and everything. All right, I thought it would be a white primer and it is. I don't have anything against white primers. They're fine usually. Um, my favorite primer of, lash primer of all is from Tarte. It's, uh, it's black though. So, you know, we'll try a white one. Uh, so yeah, that's what I got uh, from them. And this is something that a lot of people have asked me for reviews on for months, literally months. And they finally came up for sale on Hot Look, so I went ahead and got them. And uh, they are the, let's see. This is interesting because it says two different names. Whitening Lightning, Color Your Smile Lighted Lip Gloss, and one just says Gerard Cosmetics. So I picked up three of these, and I've tried one. I haven't tried the other two. Um, so yeah, let's see here. Wait a minute. I, they have these like really weird, okay, so I'll try the, uh, okay, I'll show you the red one first. They have these white, this white packaging on, so I just like twisted it just before I started filming this, just so it wouldn't take forever for me to get it off because I tried to peel it off and it doesn't want to come off. Uh, this is Candy Apple, the shade Candy Apple. I don't know how I'm gonna get all these stick, this big old sticker off, it goes, it's so big. Um, this is the color Candy Apple. And let me show you the applicator because the one I tried, the first thing I noticed was the applicator and it's kind of like a hard doe foot, so I'm not thrilled with the applicator. But that color looks gorgeous, I can't wait to try that actual color. Um, I'll save the one that I tried last. Uh, this is the other one that I haven't tried. It's called Salmon Lip Gloss. So I thought this would be a really pretty color, kind of like an orangey color. What are you doing, Max? You playing with your bone? He's down here playing with his bone. Uh, no applicator? Wait a minute. Damn it. I got no applicator on this one. I don't even know if I can get it out. Oh, man. Oh, I can't even get enough color out to show you with this stick. Okay, so that's a big old fail. Color your smile. All right, this is the one I tried, and it is uh, the color Rose Hill. So that's uh, from the YouTuber Jacqueline Hill. She uh, did this color, that's what it said on there. And uh, yeah, so I'll swatch this one for you. This is the one I actually tried. Uh, just tried it once, and I thought it was a really pretty pink color. Uh, again, not really excited about the applicator. It's cute the way it lights up. Uh, it lights up the tube, um, and also has a gla a mirror that I'm gonna have to dig out from under this big old sticker. <laughs> but yeah, this is nice if you want to put it on at night. You have the ability to see what you're doing with this light and uh, have a mirror right on your tube. So let me go ahead and show you the color. I thought it was a really, really good color. So that's right on top there, Rose Hill. There's that stanky little, <laughs> not even swatch of the salmon color, and then there's the cherry. So 
I have two, I guess, to try out and tell you more about it. It did stay very well, uh, the Rose Hill Gloss. It did stay very well. It's a nice, thick enough formula to stay through drinks and things like that, so I was pleased with that. Um, the other thing that I got, uh, I've seen a couple people that I watched, you know, tutorials for, uh, 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 of, <laughs> and uh, I saw them use this brand and I wanted to try it, so I went ahead and ordered. They had a, a code, a discount code, so I took advantage of it. Uh, it's Sasha Cosmetics, and this is the second skin foundation. I got two products. I got the second skin foundation. I've seen, uh, is it Makeup Doll, Little Pumpkin Pie 05, and uh, Makeup by Lee. Yeah, Makeup by Lee use this and I was really really interested so I got this uh, foundation the second second skin foundation it looks so beautiful on them I got the color Coco beige and I will swatch it for you so there it is right there swatched on top that's the Coco beige so I can't wait to try that that's gonna be fun and I love testing out new foundations I saw there's a new Laura Mercier foundation I'm gonna definitely have to pick up and test out they have a new concealer as well so I might get them both at the same time the foundation and the concealer um, to test out, you know, just to tell you how it is, if you should pick it up. Uh, the other thing that they have that a lot of people have been raving about is the uh, Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. It's Buttercup is the color, and a lot of people have been talking about it in relation to Ben Nye, um, which I have right over there. And uh, so I thought I would try that out, and I bet this is going to be messy because it is a loose powder. Well, they give you a puff and there is a film over it. So it's a setting powder, I'll let you know about that. This is a great way, uh, doing the Makeup Monday videos is gonna be a great way for me to tell you about testing out things from hauls. Um, because this Makeup Monday, I'm gonna tell you about the NYX uh, Suede Palette, that's what I have on my eyes, I've been using that, and um, the L'Oreal Visible Blur, that uh, cream blush, I'm gonna tell you about that as well. So that'll be a great place you know, to come if you wanna see how things from hauls are, because I'll, I'll, I'll be telling you about them, uh, you know, kind of doing the little reviews on those products and Makeup Mondays. Uh, so the last thing I have to show you from the CCO, we are near the end, I know I've bored you to death, right? Uh, we are near the end and I went to the CCO a couple weeks ago and I haven't touched these products, it's been a while. And uh, I went with a friend, and uh, she's someone I met through YouTube, uh, you know, vi through videos and everything like that, and we talk like every day, it's, it's funny. We talk like every day about everything going on in makeup. We hadn't met in a while, so we met uh, right by the new CCO that came, uh, that went up in our area. It isn't brand new, but it's relatively new, and we'd never, be neither one of us had ever been there. I will leave the link down below in the description for the CCO. It's a cosmetic company outlet store you know, depends on what you want to call it. Uh, basically, it's Estee Lauder brands, 30% off. So you'll see MAC there, Bobbi Brown, Smashbox, of course, Estee Lauder. Uh, and it's funny, each one I notice, or not each one, some of them have like unique products there that are really exciting. Like there's one in New Jersey and I saw Joe Malone there. The one that we went to uh, that is a new one is really, really nice. And they had Tom Ford there, Tom Ford fragrances, um, you know, just a couple. And they had some Michael Kors uh, gift sets that I think came out in the holidays. They were there. It's 30% off, so it's a really good shopping deal. Uh, I went ahead and got some MAC Studio Tech Foundation. I've never tried this. This is like the cream form of the foundation. I got it in NC50. I was excited to see that they had that. This is more for something for me in the fall because that's when my face gets drier and um, I can def definitely use a cream foundation product. Uh, so I'll go ahead and swatch that for you and show you the color. NC50, that's me. So that's what it looks like. I should have done that. Showed you that before I swatched. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I like this because it's in the bottom you have a uh, poof to apply. So that's good. So I'll show you the color right there and see that's why that's my color. It disappears right into my skin. That is the NC50. So I will be trying that as soon as fall comes. I will be trying that. Uh, I know I can't tolerate it now. It's almost time for me to just only be doing my powder foundations because, you know, usually late July, August, that's kind of kind of how things roll. Some of my liquids work, though. Like this Marc Jacobs does pretty well, uh, depending on what primer I use. All right, I got two more products. One is a lipstick. It's a satin finish lipstick. It was $11.75 uh, from MAC. And it is called Del Rio. And I've never heard of this color before, but it looks gorgeous. Del Rio. I will swatch it down here. This is nice. I'm already shopping for fall, if you can't tell. This is a nice fall color, I think. Really, really pretty. 
really really pretty really really pretty so yeah excited about that and then this brand I've never tried anything from them before and it's called Erin and I believe this is a relative or something I remember reading about this when they came out and um, it's like a relative Estee Lauder or something like granddaughter or something like that I'm sorry I don't remember the story but I've never tried one of their products so I thought I'd start with a lipstick now, this color is called wait a minute it's on the top here Madison I like the packaging it's almost YSL like <laughs> so that's what the color looks like that I thought I'd try it's kind of my nice pinky pinky rosy color so there it is right there I thought that was so pretty so so pretty yeah. So guys, that's it. I rambled enough and I've showed you everything. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend. I just wanted to check in and talk with you. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.